imagine a world where only a layer of paint would be able to turn every surface into a solar panel. You just spray your window and have a semi-transparent, cheap solar panel producing clean energy. Well, this might not be too far away in time. The organic revolution has already started. The smartphone you're holding in your pocket or the TV you have at home are probably using OLEDs, which means that the pixels that compose the screen are not made by silicon, but of a material which is mostly made of carbon. Organic materials are easier to manufacture, cheaper, flexible and even recyclable. They suffer a few drawbacks so yet. They are sensitive to UV light, which is a problem for a material you want to use as a solar panel. They have issues with heat, and most important, they need to be protected from atmosphere. They might react with atmospheric gas like oxygen, water, or pollutants, oxidize and lose their functions. And that's exactly the, the issues I'm trying to tackle during my thesis. We are trying to study how a certain kind of molecules react to air, which is a really complicated task because to see a reaction, you need to first look at the molecule before it, it has ever seen the atmosphere, which is easier said than done. You can do your experiment in space, but yeah, it's anti-economical. What we do is to bring space to our lab. Our, our experiments take place in a sealed vessel like this big, where we have the same vacuum as between the Earth and the Moon. So, these molecules have been used for decades to make devices that uh, analyze gases, so they should react somehow, right? Wrong. We tried so many different gases, we tried oxygen, nitrogen dioxide, water, ammonia, and nothing sticked on the surface. So the idea was to freeze the gas on the surface, on the surface of our sample. We cooled down our sample to 200 degrees below zero. And finally it happened. Oxygen was sticking, freezed on our surface. And we were able to tell exactly where it stick and how it did influence our molecule. We were also able to show that water was less of a problem and that a thin layer of molecules would not save your substrate from the ruining action of air. So now probably your question is, yeah, you prepare your sample in space uh, at a temperature that was never before seen on Earth with a specific kind of molecule among the thousands that are out there. What do you expect this to tell us? Well, from studying this molecule, we might infer how other molecules will react and we might even design new molecules that are less reactive and more effective. And mostly, the alternative is to randomly pick a molecule and to see if it works. But that's, of course, a waste.